Meet Tommy. He's a good kid. Let's say he goes to St. Joe's Parish. His dad found out St. Joe's was hosting a conquest club, so he signed up Tommy. One day at the club, he heard the older kids talking about being an ECYD. He asked, what's that? They told him, it's like everything great about conquest, just all the time. So he made the pledge of friendship with Christ and joined. Other kids also made this pledge, and soon Tommy and several of his friends on his conquest team were in ECYD. Did we even mention how Tommy's sister, Susie, had the very same experience joining ECYD in her challenge club? Each of them was motivated within their teams, not only to make the conquest or challenge meetings great for everybody, but also to attend those other fun and formative events that bring together ECYD members from clubs far and wide. It turns out any Regnum Christi youth event or program, whether a challenge or conquest club, a summer camp or mission trip, if ECYD is present, it will be something like the experience of a fine restaurant, a place where they serve gourmet food. You see, when kids get a healthy balance of fun and formation, experience real friendship with Christ and others, and a sense of mission in life, these experiences are like gourmet food. And like any good restaurant, certain customers keep coming back. But once in a while, some of the most faithful clients will want something even more. They'll want to learn how to cook those same recipes for a living. They apply to chef school and they're introduced into the kitchen. ECYD is this group of chefs. That team of talented cooks, once trained to prepare gourmet food, are not only able to run their own restaurant, they're able to train the next generation of chefs. Without conquest and challenge, there would soon be no more applicants into chef school. Without ECYD, the program would be like getting frozen food off the shelf instead of the restaurant experience. Thanks to this relationship between ECYD and its programs, both end up mutually strengthened for the good of Tommy, Susie, and everyone.